All right, so let's take a look now at another flash blocking device. Um, it's a thing on eBay, it's like 67 bucks or so. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's kind of like a no photo. Uh, basically, the way it works is you've got two control boxes like this. You can see one there, one there. Uh, running off the end, you've got wires for two flash heads. They should connect to the bottom of a plate. You can put them on the sides. In the, in the eBay picture, they showed them on the bottom, so that's where I put them. They connect right there. And then similar idea, uh, when you take a picture or when any sort of camera takes a picture, you've got a little sensor right here. We'll zoom in so I can get it to focus. So you've got your uh, flash sensor right there and then the flash head right there. So first one will fire and then for the second picture, the second head will fire. Uh, notices right there when there's a flash being given off and then it responds right there with that one. So that's the idea. Um, oh, another thing, the way they're designed, they're designed for like Asian or European plates. If you look at American plates, they've got circles in the bottom for uh, the screws. And apparently in like European plates, there's a little uh, rectangular opening right there. It's a little bit wider and it's designed to accept uh, this little photodiode right there. See, it does stick out a little bit. And then uh, the flash head as well. So it's designed to actually go back behind the plate, but on the American plates, it doesn't fit right. So uh, what I've done, is I literally just grabbed some super glue and I super glued it, this top part right there, to the back of the plate itself. So that's how I've got it applied. Um, yeah, and then the wires would run out who knows where. Haven't actually put it on a car yet permanently or anything. So uh, that's that. But, anyways, let's take a look now to see the wiring as far as how everything works. So, control box here. Uh, this is one I haven't used. So, this is how it comes from the uh, manufacturer slash whoever in China. Uh, control box here, all the computers and everything are in there. On one end you got the wire. It's about three or four feet or so. Looks like this. Uh, the wire comes... Focus. So you've got your positive and your ground. Really tiny there. Little protectors. You pull this off and then you can connect these up somehow to the car. It doesn't give you any sort of way of connecting it to the car. You've basically got to do it yourself. Um, and then... The second part, on the other side of the box, you've got the little uh, quick releases for the flash heads themselves. Now, the flash heads come like this. Focus, iPhone, do your thing. There you go. Cool. Look like this. These are about, I don't know, a foot long, maybe a little over a foot. And then you've got the quick release heads like this. So, one for positive, one for ground. Go like that. And then inside, it's a two-wire connection. You see, it looks like this. Those will clip in, and then you've got your uh, quick release right there. Give it a press, and that's how you actually pull them off. So once you've got this installed on your plate like this, you can actually remove all this. So kind of handy for uh, once you've got the plate installed, you can put this somewhere in your vehicle, run these down through maybe like the, uh, the license plate light area, whatever, pop those out, run the wires through, and then quick release connect uh, these on the outside of the vehicle or however you want to wire it. So that's how you would do that. Um, let's see, it comes with a cigarette lighter connector. Uh, the way it works, a cigarette lighter actually has two cables coming out of it, one for each license plate unit. So you got two here, each one has two heads, so a total of four heads. So you can actually protect uh, either two cars that each have one license plate or one car that has two license plates if you've got that in your area off one device. So uh, the cable that runs out of here, it's like eight or nine feet long or so. Uh, let me find one of the ends. I've got a whole nest of cables. Okay, so on the other end of the cable, one of them looks like this. And inside, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, oh, good job. Good job, phone. So you just got your raw wires right there. So hopefully you've got a uh, a wire stripper or something. You've got to basically... Know, strip off this outer sheath and you got all the wires inside which then you're gonna have to strip out again and then once you've got all that done you can uh, connect it up to here on the other side of the white box and to show you an example of one that I've done looks like this and so one end is coming from the cigarette lighter the other one is coming from that white box right there and uh, just soldered them together and then heat shrinked over top just to protect everything and cover it up so that's if you want to actually hook it up to a cigarette lighter, which is what I did, uh, because I don't actually plan on installing it in my car, but uh, just to kind of make it easy for demos. 
if you want to like you know wire it permanently you don't have to do it that way you would just take this and somehow wire it into your car so uh, one thing I noticed with the control or the cigarette lighter thing is you have to like really push it in it has a tendency of actually popping out um, also comes with one of these cigarette lighter splitters and I'll show you on this one but uh, the way that it works as far as how it's wired up these two on the outside are ground and then your actual power is the tip right here and for whatever reason the plug actually has a tendency of pulling itself out a little bit just enough to actually disconnect the tip right there from the back of the plug and so the thing has a tendency of turning itself off a lot but in the real world installed in your car you're probably not going to plug it into the plug there you're going to have it hardwired so that's not going to matter um, anyways so once that's here okay see the light just turned on because I have to plug it back in so cool so now this one is powered up it is functional and let's do a quick demo of the heads firing I know it's like six minutes into the video we haven't even used the thing yet <laughs> okay so cool got a flash here go ahead and fire one and two and three so uh, maybe you could hear something it did actually recharge there uh, first one will fire and then the other the order totally depends on how you have this wired up if you want to switch them you can switch whatever um, but right now I've got set this one and then that one so that way it's firing like the no photo so we'll let it recharge and then we'll fire this again I'll actually point it up in the air let's see if it's recharged now do one yep two that's bright so I don't think it shows up on camera, but one flash is there, and then the other. So that's how this one works, and uh, I think by now you guys have mostly seen some videos as far as, or not videos, some pictures as far as how this works. So um, we can do some comparisons now with the no photo, and uh, go from there. So cool. Thanks for watching.